Hello and welcome to another gauge demo from FlipGages.com. In this video I'll be running through my turn coordinator gauge. This is an updated video from the previous one which is pretty out of date now. Okay so let's cover the buttons and dials. So in this gauge we are using S2 and S3. So S2 is used to toggle the aircraft compatibility mode. So this is used to support PMDG. So the heading variables in the PMDG are different to the standard SIM, so I have to have a, a toggle which switches the compatibility mode. So pressing S2 toggles between the SIM, PMDG 737 and 747, and then again back to SIM again. Okay, um, S3, this toggles the aircraft graphics style, so there are seven styles of graphics. And as you press the S3, that will toggle all around the various different styles we've got. So you've got the uh, common regular turn coordinator graphic, but I've added a Cessna style, a twin prop, uh, a Learjet style, um, a, an airliner and a four engine airliner as well. And recently I've also added the helicopter as well to that. Okay, so the Dials, the right dial is used for the menu, so the menu indicator is the blue LED and it's the nearest hardware control to the LED. So the right dial is the menu, the left dial does the heading bug. So as you turn the left dial, you can change the AP heading bug. Okay, so you've got the heading bug digitally at the bottom here, as well as visually at the top in the compass. You have obviously the compass here on the top of the turn coordinator. You also have another compass here at the top of the artificial horizon. And at the very top here is the actual heading of the aircraft. And of course you've got the slip guide underneath as well. Okay, so let's cover the menus. So we'll activate the menu by turning the right dial. And the right dial, when you turn it, will continue to flip through all of the dial, sorry, all of the menu options. The left dial will change the selected menu option. So now version and info is highlighted. The left dial will turn the version and info page on and off. The next menu item is side buttons. And you can turn this on with the left dial. And this is an optional side button panel. The buttons can be labeled within spad.next. I'm not going to cover it here. There's a separate tutorial for that. So please check that out. So turn those off for now. The next option is the aircraft style. With the left button you can now toggle through the aircrafts as you can with the S3 button. Um, if you decide you want to reprogram the buttons to do whatever you want in conjunction with the labels, then you can still change the aircraft style within the menu. The next option in the menu is the glass reflection. The glass reflection is optional and you can turn those on and off. It is a global variable, so that will turn the glass reflections on and off in all gauges at the same time. The next option is the background color, and there's four different styles. There's the original gray dial background, you got the black dial background, you got the darker overall gauge background, and then the jet black backgrounds as well. Okay, on all my gauges now, I'm adding an addition the additional menu option that is the brightness for the physical FIPS. I haven't had the chance to add it to this one yet, but it will be added shortly, and you'll be able to adjust the control of the brightness for the physical FIPS. It doesn't work on the virtuals, but that will be added shortly. Okay, I hope you found this video useful, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to come back and check out some of our other videos. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.